So we're going to take a couple minutes here and show you how to go through a kettlebell swing. What you want to know when you're doing a kettlebell, it is not a matter of how strong are my arms I can lift it, it's a matter of how well do I use my hips and thrust them in my full body to get the momentum to actually swing my arms up. The arms do play a role, but it's more a matter of your stability in the shoulders, that sort of thing. It's not a matter of powering through lifting the bell over your head. So, as we get started, you want to think about lining up the ball of your feet with the kettlebell, just like you would a deadlift. Basically, a swing is a continuation of a deadlift. So when you pull yourself underneath, I'm gripping both hands on, I'm gonna shrug my shoulder blades down and back on my spine. I'm tightening my belly, and I'm gonna lengthen out my butt backwards to get a nice, long spine, neutralizing the neck. And I'm already starting off basically in a very perfect hinge position at the hips. It's like bending the knees. Knees are directly over my heels. And we're all nicely lined up. And I'm gonna swing up on an inhale. So take a deep inhale. Exhale, release, and inhale, come on up. As you reach the top, you want to think about really clinching the glutes. You're not arching your spine to get upright. You're clinching your glutes, and you're standing up. On your exhales, your chest is facing the ground. Core is engaged, protecting your lower back. And again, we'll go through here from this view. Your balls of your feet are in line with the kettlebell. Shrug your shoulders down and back. My knees are right over my heels and they could actually be traveling in the same direction as my toes. Tight belly, butt back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift. Wherever my spine goes, my neck goes. Balls of my feet are nice and planted. Boom, and that is how you swing it. All right, hope it helps. Ciao.